enabling motivation factors. Make sure that the basic minimum needs of the team are met before you start implementing your motivational techniques. The environment in which you practice motivational methods plays a significant role in their impact and effectiveness. Establishing your style does not only means to look fit and active, but it's about how you manage your team as a manager by implementing a share and collaborate method instead of command and control technique. Your motivational behavior is strongly influenced on your team. Theory X and Theory Y are two methods of management. For instance, a Theory X manager works alone and does not much interact with the team, thinking that this would help him in asserting authority. This approach creates fear and distance between you and your team. It may increase demotivation. And a Theory Y manager takes all decisions in collaboration with the staff and acts on their feedback and suggestions and acknowledge their viewpoints. This approach is motivating to the staff. Learning to be a good manager. Management of motivation. To be a good manager, you need to develop a non-obstructive environment in organization where people can perform at their best. Handle them well. By collaborate with team. Avoiding politics. Does not command over them, but listen them. Committed to work and your trustworthy nature will help you to handle them well. Controlling motivation. Let them clear about the objectives of the organization. It determine the level of motivation, and these objectives are achieved through good management, and tell them how their job helps the overall growth of the organization. Communicating its right. Keep the door open. Maintain the open channel of communication. It will make you aware of problems quickly so that you can fix them ASAP. On the other hand, if an employee came to you with some sort of issue and you behave like they're bothering you instead of acknowledging their concern, it may convey the message that this manager does not believe in them. So always ready and willing to listen them when they bring up a question or concern. You can follow these things for an effective communication. One-on-one -on -one and group meetings encourage their healthy discussion. Greeting your staff and spend some time for chit-chatting, too. But remember, don't overstep by asking about anything too personal. You can keep up a friendly reputation. Abiding by a no-blame policy. Being a responsible manager, create a facilitating culture where your employees accept failure as challenge and work to address them for future success. Allows your team to innovate and ultimately to learn or grow. Measure the risks. Do not make an offer beyond your budget. Understanding mistakes. Workers who learn from their mistakes will grow to become better workers. Those who fail to make mistakes in the first place usually play it too safe, never venturing out into deep water. Encouraging the spirit of cooperation. Don't take credit for your team's achievements. Let them take credit for their own achievements. This motivates them to continue to chase after success. Encourage in public. A simple thank you or well done in front of other colleagues is encouraging. A written acknowledgement is equally motivated and worth 100 verbal appreciations. Follow up your verbal appreciation with a written note.